All right, Cuevas here, and one of the things I get to do is visit some barber shops out on the road now today being Friday and me having a day off. You see that guy sitting in the background? That's my buddy Johnny B, and he owns Johnny's Barber Shop here in Ellicottville, New York, the town in which I live. Johnny's a great guy, so we're going to let Johnny cut us up today, and we're going to see if we can get some views and opinions out of him on what he thinks about the job and what it's like. What do you say, Johnny? What's going on today, Daddy? Looks like we're filming here. Yeah, yeah, a little videotape. Got yeah. the outside. We got the barber shop here. Got the nice sign, the Johnny B sign, ready to rock and to roll. People. What do you say? You ready to cut me up? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Get her done. Okay, Johnny B, let's get this done. Nice. So, Johnny, how long have you been a barber now? Oh, it's going on five years now. Five years? Five, six. Oh, man, how time flies, ain't it? Yeah. So what's the word on the street in your barber shop? What's everybody all buzzed up about? Well, looks like healthcare is a big issue right now. Healthcare is a huge issue, man. You know, it, it, it really bothers me the fact that the people we hire and put into office find their way to have free healthcare benefits for life. Yet when it comes to, to, to voting on free health care for everybody, these knuckleheads just can't seem to get this stuff straight. Get it straight. I can't understand how the government says it's going to cost them something like... Ten years would cost them eight hundred and fifty billion some dollars. How do these insurance companies make money off of this? Why is it when the government does it, they lose eight hundred and fifty billion, but the insurance companies make they money? They make money. Wasn't the money supposed to be coming from somewhere? Well, I don't know. It, it, it just seems to me that things get out of hand when it comes to the cost of the services and whatnot, and there's got to be an easier way. I mean, I don't have all the answers. You know, I only pick up from what I see on Someone's TV. Someone's got to have the answers. Well, I think someone's got the answers, but I think... Uh, They're not using them. <laughs> yeah, the problem is somebody's pocket's getting the mumps from all this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Swelling up. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what they say. Life's like a shit sandwich. The more bread you got, the less shit you got to eat. <laughs> you know? Well, when it comes down to it, everybody's got something personal that they can bitch about. Yeah. What other topics you hearing that are bothering people out here today? I mean... I'm sure I hear a lot of the same topics that you do, but yeah. besides health care, you know, I think the people's uh, opinion of the government is, is really starting to wane. Yeah. It's uh, the civility answer, question. Yeah. You think there'd be more answers? I don't know. They could figure out how to bail everybody else out except for the American public. The problem is everything's business, and you have to have greed for business. Because what else else is it, you know? Well, you know, getting back to healthcare, one of the things that kills me is these doctors take their uh, their Hippocratic oath, you know, to save lives. It, it, it kind of bothers me that they want so much money to do it. <laughs> I just, that's just something I don't get. Yeah. I just don't get it. So, you've been a barber for about five, six years now. You digging it? Yeah, life is good. <laughs> life is good. You're your own boss. I'm my own boss. Nice. You need to come to work. Do my own thing. Start my own conversations. There you go. Yeah, it's amazing how the conversations can go from one end to the other, yeah. too. You know? Well, that's the thing. Everybody has their own personal thing that affects them. And, uh... You know, there's not, there's not a big, solid answer for all of us. I, I think that's a big problem. Yeah, everybody seems to have a little different opinion and answer on it. Yeah, nobody can get together on nothing. Yeah, that's a shame. You know what I like about coming to your barbershop? I didn't even tell you what I wanted and you already knew. <laughs> You're you half done. done. <laughs> yeah, and I'm half done. That's even better. Yeah. Uh, I know what you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, nowadays you can't trust anybody but your friendly local neighborhood barber. That's right. You know what I mean? Consult your barber. Yeah. Especially you make before getting decision. Yeah, especially <laughs> getting married or something like that. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I learned. <laughs> yeah. And, and actually, that's another thing. You know, being a barber, I'm amazed that, you know, I, I, I got guys that come in that'll tell me things that they won't tell their best friend. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they won't tell your sister anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes there's a little too much information, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes you gotta wonder why the hell they're telling you that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where'd that come from? <laughs>
Yeah, sometimes I think there's things that I got no business knowing. <laughs> but the other thing I know about barbers is we're pretty tight when it comes to uh, not giving out information. You know, you can tell somebody you heard something, but you never tell them where you heard it from. Kind of like Vegas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Ah, Johnny, you're doing a fine job. Just a fine job. If you need me, I'm Clippers McCutty. Clippers McCutty. Yeah, yeah. You also have a uh, a business page. I do. Uh, give us the address for that, so if anybody wants to look you up, they can. www.johnnybarber.biz. B-I-Z. Nice. Hey, if you're down in Elegantville, you stop in here and you see Johnny B. He's a hell of a guy and a great barber. I say that because I kind of had something to do with teaching him a little bit. Yeah, you showed me the way. Yeah, yeah. I showed you the way. <laughs> now you're off the beaten path. <laughs> Get that monkey off my... Yeah, yeah, clean that neck up, right? Yeah, so in a turn of events, not only do I get charged for a haircut, and a guy asked me to clean up his neck, too. A good thing I'm licensed in your buddy. Nice. <laughs> ah, Johnny, you're a good guy. Cleaning up your neck will be my pleasure. Yeah, maybe we'll talk about the fee. The fee? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? The fee don't bother me, Daddy. Just so long as I get a good haircut, that's all that bothers me. You yeah. know what? This is my gift to you right here. How's Thank that you. Sound? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let me You're the best. Nobody tells here. you that enough. Oh, yeah, get that get yeah, let me clean stuff out of there. The ears. Get that stuff for out God's of there. God's sake, next thing you know, he's going to start asking for a whole damn air gun. Yeah, why don't you go a little bit higher on Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think just a little bit more off here? We got time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, time has no meaning when you're free, my friend. <laughs> just remember that. Okay. Oh, ouch! <laughs> hey! Uh, Johnny, you're no, a good. No, he's guy. good. You're a good guy. Thanks. <laughs>